Welcome engineers, race have fun. Today's problem is getting through the Dutch Grand Prix. If you did not check out the previous episode, check it. Uh, check the card in the top right because spoilers in three, two, one. It's the sprint weekend around the Azerbaijan Grand for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, and it went horribly. Uh, we we were tired from both the sprint and the race, but we got very lucky in the fact that Max only won the sprint. And also retired from the race, so we only gained eight points on us, as if it was a normal weekend where we finished one and two, which is not that bad. On to Netherlands, and then this is the first race in the European portion of the season. We won here last season after winning our first sprint in round six, and then going on to win round eight in Saudi Arabia, and then. Um, having a shocking weekend in Baku again last season. Um, so on to Netherlands. This was the beginning of a two-way streak that we won in Spain um, afterwards, but we didn't win in Monaco because it was quite a shocking Grand Prix um, from my side. I don't actually remember what happened, which is odd because, you know, the video for it went out only a month and a half ago. Um, but I guess that's good because I don't remember it, so it's not. It obviously wasn't something important. Oh, I remember. Um, yeah, I had front wing damage pit early and hit the wall on the outside of Casino Square. No, I hit the wall on the inside as well. Hit the wall on the inside, and that that's what's caused me to hit the wall on the outside as well. Yeah, I remember now. Wow, I've hit that wall many times, because I did it in Alpine season as well. Not in the Merck season, the Merck season I retired in the pit lane, but I did hit the wall at the swim Porsche came instead. Anyway, none of that is of importance at the moment, because we are at the Netherlands, coming across the line to finish our practice lap, and we come across the line uh, with a 12.4 in P2. By the end of the session, we go on a sauce, stay in P2, but we do an 11th one, getting within 24 milliseconds of Russell. On to qualifying then. Q1, first lap, 10.3. with a P1. It's a pretty good job uh, from us. And I will be talking over myself from the stream a lot because my um, earbuds died because I didn't realise how. I didn't realise the case was the one that was running out of battery. No. But my headphones were the one that was. It was the case that needed charging, not my headphones, and I didn't realise that until my headphones were dying as soon as I pulled them out of the case. So we, um, so I've got that on charge now, and I can't, again. Nice. obviously I can't hear the video <coughs> without the video playing an echo. So through to Q3 we go, six tenths at the end of Q2, uh, to Fernando in second, Lando in third, and George da uh, and Max down in fifth. Uh, the ones that were knocked out were Joe, Hamilton, Stroll, Sainz and Ricardo. So, two of the big hitters out in Q2. Let's see what we can do for Q3. Coming across the line. And we do a 10-0. Puts us P1 uh, for now. So, we go into the garage to have a look. Seven-tenths to max is actually a pretty decent margin. Technically, we don't even need to go for a second lap. There if we're lucky, to be fair, if we play it right, and we speed up the game in a way where the AI can't improve. Yeah, we've got the race. We're, we're fine, and we can just don't have to go for a second lap. So here they come now: Albon, Alonso, Perez, Verstappen, Gasly, Russell, Ocon. Eight of them out on circuit. I don't know which one's inside with me, but as the timer goes down. We're not going to have enough time to go out for another lap if we want to go. As Albon starts his final lap, Alonso and Norris join him. At 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 10, 11, 10. We don't have a time to we don't have time to go out for another lap. We're not going out for another lap. I am confident that that seven tenths to Verstappen in second is enough to give to keep us pole position. So we're going to let the full lap play out. 
Um, at some point, I do believe I go check the sector times of Stappen and that. Um, no, we just stay on the leaderboard. Uh, Charles is the only other one that's not gone out with us. Um, it would have been nice to get a purple sector too. Uh, we're tenth down on Max there. But, pole position to pole position, it doesn't matter in the end what sectors we're going to get. By the end of this video, I can guarantee you that I re won't remember that I got purple sector 1 and sector 2. That's sector 3. Actually, I probably will. What I won't remember is the gap in sector 2 and what uh, as to why I did not get purple. But, some of them have finished their laps. You don't see any green. They've not improved on their lap. We're going to keep... Uh, Max is the only one that does improve. And this is the original lap. See, I, I was really confused on what to do here because I only did the one lap in Q3 and if I showed that straight away then it'd kind of tell you that I didn't do a second lap but I wanted to hide the fact that I did a second lap So, but I always show my final lap so how do I do that? Well, I show you that I don't do a second lap and then I re-show you the first lap. So as you can see, going through sector 2 at the moment um, obviously there's going to be no commentary for that this lap because I haven't started and there is no delta or anything so yeah in the end Max only gained 2 tenths um, so he, his gap to us was only 5 tenths so we didn't even need to push as much as we did on this lap because it was enough by half a second that's mad I just love, love the Netherlands, Zandvoort in particular, the European circuits, must be some sort of bias in the, in my brain somewhere because I am just amazing point zero. the European circuits. The only one I'm not so happy about is Monaco really, and France, France was poor in the AI test. But in the end, pole position, 5 tenths to max, 9 tenths to rock on, let's go to the race. Um, soft, medium and hard um, are the tyres for um, a lot of the drivers in the top 10, majority mediums. Again, <coughs> kind of screwing me over with two, so two without further ado, I'll hand you over to my stream self so we can talk about um, the strategy and no, obviously the race. Possible. I'll catch you after the race, let's go win this thing, especially in the home of our championship rival. That'd be a statement of intent. Let's go. Actually, yeah, we're going to do that. We get, we're only going to get an undercut on them once. That's fine. Actually, no, twice because we changed that. Um. I can save the fuel. We'll give a point one extra because of the um, first lap. But yeah, we're looking good what we need to bounce back is gain those 8 points on Max Secret. We can fill away now. Off one isn't our speed. Max is though. Really.
Decon's behind you. I was hoping for some strategy, Mark. Alonso behind. Okay, push, push. Gap to the car behind. 4.4 seconds. Stappen's behind. Okay, gap to the car behind. Well, that lasted long. 5.2 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are 12 laps old. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 10.4 seconds. They're on old mediums. struggling just as much with tire wear. That's good for me. Overtaking, reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. Okay, mate, we might need to look at a new race strategy after that. I've got some options for you, so go and check your MFD. Understood. Copy that. Cool. Glad we feel the same. strategy. Lando's in the pits. Lando in the pits. You're a 
approaching the safety car. You're leading, so don't pass it. Stay behind the safety car. Grand Prix, whatever. Lap 23, we just had a safety car. We just hit from the first set of mediums. OK, the safety car's coming in this lap. We'll be pacing the field in sector three. Make sure to respect the delta until the safety car's into the pit lane. And we're about to get underway for the restart of the race. Lap 23. Going to pit from these mediums onto softs about lap 51. Still keep that strap. Save the fuel so we should be good till the end of the race. Max behind also on mediums after his first stop. And we're gone. Green flag. In the first stint, we had no grip on the front. So up the front wing a little bit. And my laptop needs charging. There we go, pulling away. Great work, that's a new fastest lap of the race. Not pulling away as much as I'd want to. Thirty two laps to go. 2% ERS each lap now. Your last lap time was a 1.15.2. Good job Lando getting from 13th to 7th.
pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Okay, roger that. Soft tyres at the next pit stop. Boom. Go, go, go. That was a fantastic stop. Faster than we were expecting. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Or not. Good job, that was the fastest lap of the race so far. Hard tyres. That's better. I thought you were about to say safety car then. you now. Okay, so the gap to the car behind is 8.9 seconds. Okay, they're on fresh hards. Their tyres are 8 laps old. The time last lap was a... I've made a miscalculation here. The race is 72 laps, not 71. Okay, you've just started the final lap of the race. Final lap. The winner and the fastest lap were fine. But that's how you start the European leg of the City Turn. Come on! P1! Ah, oh, fantastic drive! That's just fantastic! Amazing! You deserve that At race Max's win. home well race done, as well. Mate. Great way to start the European leg of the season. Let's bloody go! Come on! What a, great race then. What a bounce back from Baku. Brilliant. What do you think helped them deliver this result? Get him. As ever, reliability was key today. Taking care of the car was absolutely vital. Just look at all the other DNFs today. Just to get to the end, 
was everything. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. Congratulations to everyone on the team, securing the win and proving that they're a force to be reckoned with out on the track. Let's bloody go. Get in there. There you have it, P1 to Verstappen in second, 8 points uh, because of fastest lap, so we eradicate uh, the damage that was done to us in Baku, luckily for us, obviously Max only gaining 8 points in Baku, so we, we effectively remove 2 races from the calendar, um, back down to 37 points in the championship. Um, and in the constructors, because Perez is doing horribly, um, we take the lead by one point. Let's see if we can maintain that lead for the rest of the season now. In the end, we only got the one morning, and it wasn't even a track limit. It was for collision with uh, Ocon. And, in fact, Norris got a five-second penalty. I don't know why. Why didn't I show what happened to the safety car? Oh, well. That's that for today. That's the outro. If you like it, join me tomorrow. Um, I'll hand that over to a stream self, of course. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. For the next two Grand Prix. And if you enjoy tomorrow, why not give me a follow? Both on here and YouTube under the same name. Other than that, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I will see you whenever you join me. No pressure. Bye.